Watch if it. you don't raise my budget, I'm gonna be our sugar daddy. I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm kidding. What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> you, don't even, you don't even have sugar daddy capabilities, right? Aren't you a B? <laughs> of course you are, <laughs> right? I'm just saying, if you don't give me money, I'm gonna go. I don't know. So. You're not gonna do any of that. You're just gonna raise your budget. Your budget's fine. I'm gonna be an ambassador for the meat industry. God is watching you. He hears you. I mean, that means your higher self hears you. You know what the, you said is bad. You're not going to do that. You're just I'm talking. Kidding, God. Where's that boyfriend of yours? Is he still around? Yeah, he's not. He's in. He's hiking right now. What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Guys, you heard that opening clip. That was Russell Simmons talking to his daughter, Aoki Lee Simmons, about his unwillingness to give her more money. And she was telling him, like, if you don't give me more money, I'm gonna go out here and start dotting it up with a sugar daddy. He thought she was playing, all right? But she was not. Now, I know Russell Simmons, of course, is looked at in the same vein as Diddy, looked at it in the same vein by some as like an R. Kelly kind of person, maybe not as bad, but you know, he was married to her mother. Um, and she went to Harvard. Aoki Lee Simmons graduated from Harvard, which my grades couldn't get me on Har or Vard street. Right? So you went to Harvard and graduated. She had a white boyfriend from what I understand. Uh, she likes white men just like her mom. I don't know exactly what happened, but we also saw this photo with her and this 65 year old guy, Vittorio Asaf, right? And they're kissing. Now she's 21, this guy is 65. This is the sugar daddy that she's definitely talking about. Now some people are gonna come out and say, well, this is exactly what happened with Russell Lee Simmons and Aoki Lee Simmons. But. I have, I met this person when I was, um, in high school in St. Louis, Missouri, I was modeling. I was 16 years old. Like I've known you and everybody knows again, that's documented. You can see, um, uh, I believe I was maybe a sophomore. I know it was before junior prom and senior prom because I went to both of those proms alone with my friends when I was dating them. So it was definitely long before junior and senior prom. I think it was around sophomore year of high school. And again, everybody knows this in my life. You know, they know they I was walking around, they see me. The point of it is I've known you a long time and I've seen lots of stuff and I just choose to not go there. Um, lots of things that I could say over the time you know, I'm typically the one that he and others would call to have their back, right? I'm the, I'm the one that they would call to um, solidify everything, to validate everything. If you always look, whenever they get into trouble, they always want to hop up on the live and do a half screen with me. Again, this was years ago because we don't speak now. But, you know, I'm always the one that kind of puts out the fire. I'm also the one that always runs to the defense of all my friends. And people are saying this is a generational curse. Look, folks were worried about Jalen Green dating 39-year-old Dre and Michelle. Well, word on the street is that Aoki Lee Simmons is now dating a 65-year-old man. As you all know, Aoki is the daughter of Russell Simmons and Kamora Lee Simmons. And this man is a 65-year-old business owner. I guess his name is Victorio Asaf. When I tell y'all these generational curses are no joke, she is literally falling or going following the steps of her mother and her father, where her father dated Kimura when Kimura was a young model, what, 15, 16 years old, allegedly. And then, you know, Kimura dating these older, older men. I'm telling you, it does not matter how much money you have. These generational curses will come back to haunt you if you do not break the chain with your children. Sure, this man, supposedly they've been seen at St. Bart's taking pictures together, um, kissing one another. Word on the street is they're just getting to know each other. But what does a girl that is 21 years old have to do with a 65-year-old man? That's literally what? 
44 years old, older than you, unless you're just trying to get a bag, baby girl, because your daddy ain't got it like that anymore, I don't get it. Have a good day. Let me just, you know, say this. I'm a religious person. I cannot say for sure that this is a generational curse. I will say that this young lady here has, despite her, her parents' issues or father's issues, she's lived a comfortable life. Russell Lee Simmons, I believe was trying to give her the ability to work for herself, uh, to get out there and do something with her intelligence. Again, she went to Harvard and you cannot get into Harvard if you're dumb. So she graduated. The fact that she has a sugar daddy that is 65 and letting a guy clap the cheeks that's 65, it's not shocking to me, right? This is a person that's saying, I want to use my beauty because I don't want to work. And how did she learn that? I can tell you who she learned it from. She learned it from her mother, all right? A lot of the, uh, you know, unaccountability coming from Aoki Lee. Let me tell you this. The mom has trained her, in my honest opinion, on how this should work with older guys, right? You gotta look, you know, white guy, older white guy with money, sugar daddy. This is way better and more efficient than actually working hard despite your Harvard education. This is the best way to do it. And that's what we're gonna look at, all right? And let me just tell you, this is what is the case with Marlon Wayans. Like, you guys know Marlon Wayans. Marlon Wayans got this nurse pregnant by the name of Brittany Moreland. This lady is an ICU nurse in Los Angeles. So, you know, I went to medical school. My, my, my father is a nurse practitioner. My aunt is a retired nurse practitioner. Nurses in LA County make a lot of money. Want to know what? The lady still has a nursing license and doesn't want to work. You know, I, I, I want somebody to take care of me. And so this is what you guys need to understand that if you get with the wrong lady because she's beautiful and you have kids with her and no matter how hardworking you want your children to become, if this is who they're getting it from, your kids are gonna become useless in a way. I hate to say it, but it's true. Guys need to respect that for what it is, okay? Like this, this is one of the reasons why, and I would have to say the United States of America has come uh, very far in terms of gender equality, um, in terms of giving women an opportunity. Hell, a lot of women get more educated than men now in our country. But the whole whole overall attitude is, hey, women still have the, you know, the need and desire to be taken care of. And as a man, you need a partner as such. I'm not saying that you need a woman that works like you, but yo, if you get somebody that they're only worried about how they look and they want to live a great life and the mom is like that and you and the mom should ever break up or split, Number one, the, 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 the kid is going with the mother, for sure, okay? And the kid will be against you. That's how it happens. So the kid will learn from the mom, despite the fact that you paid the money to do everything for them, all right? Hard work is not easy, guys. It's not. Hard work is not easy. It is something that's to be respected. And you know, who, who, you, who, who you deal with is, is incredible. And, and guys, this is not just Aoki Lee Simmons. There are a lot of ladies who are talented, who have opportunities and you want you want to know what they'd rather if they could get taken care of all right and you don't want to be that guy that's the guy taking care of them let me tell you this before we go look at this older guy 65 i mean he doesn't care he's clapping cheeks right what do you think that she's doing after she get through with him going over to who she really wants okay going over to who she really wants and that guy needs to be careful because what as soon as he does something that she don't like she gonna tell if she would expose her own father all right, what chance does he have? I want you guys to watch the play. Watch the play, okay? Watch the play. What chance does he have? Think about it. He has no chance. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy, Shady Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Jump. Appreciate you for you just heard the bell. We're out.